Over the next five days, I'm gonna try and transform my DIY only island to a festive holiday DIY only island. We'll be using the same rules as my DIY only challenge. Time travel is allowed. I get five real life days to finish. I can't use Nintendo online and I can't use Happy Home Paradise. As for the goals, I would like to try and collect every seasonal DIY recipe, which is gonna be really, really challenging. I would also like to add a new festive villager to the island. And finally, the ultimate goal is to decorate the entire island for the holidays. So let's see if this is possible. It's a festive DIY island. Yep, yeah, uh, I'd say it's been a while. Ah, uh, yeah, that, that looks much better. So if you're looking at this island right now and you're kind of wondering to yourself, uh, why does it look so finished? Well, that's because this is actually a continuation. You see, this island, if this is the first time you're seeing it, is my 30-day DIY island. And now that it's complete, I thought it was time to decorate for the holiday seasons that are coming up. Whatever season, whatever holiday it is you celebrate, that's what we're decorating for. So this is a continuation. And if you were curious to see how this island came together, I encourage you to go watch the uh, entire series on the channel now. Before I do anything though, I have one big problem to address, the weeds. I mean, I did play a little bit since I was last done recording on this island, but it's it's been a while. So we're going to need to address these. I do want to try maybe one method for getting rid of them. We'll see if it works. Uh, but right now I'm just kind of reacquainting myself at the moment. Uh, oh, here we go. Let's see. We have a lot of DIYs to collect, so I hope this is something good. It's the ornament garland. That's our first seasonal DIY. Okay, yeah, we are already on a roll. Anyway, I might as well start picking these up because <laughs> I was thinking about it and I was saying a second ago, I have a plan for addressing the weeds, but uh, there's one big problem. I don't remember going to Harv's Island even once when we did this challenge before, so I don't think I have leaf on that island, and therefore I don't think I can pay someone to take care of these weeds. Not to mention... It's actually not that many weeds, so Leaf probably wouldn't help us out anyway. The island really needs to be overrun before he's willing to help you, which is very, very silly. So I guess, yes, my first order of business, pick all the weeds. Oh, and what do we have here? It looks like a dung beetle has found our first snowball. Get out of here. Okay. It's going to crash into the fence. Oh, wait a minute. There's another snowball right here. Is the snowman really going to spawn every day in this tiny little area? <laughs> There's got to be a better place for this. Uh, okay. So one of the things I'd really like to do as part of getting all the DIYs for the season is make a perfect snowboy every single day. And I don't mean real life day. I mean like all the days that, oh shoot, all the days that we end up playing, meaning all the time skipping we do, uh, that also needs to be, <laughs> you know, a snowboy included in the daily tasks. We'll wait for another one to spawn. Here's our first beach DIY, and it's gonna be the pear smoothie recipe, which is not very festive, but you know what? I'll take anything. And while I am trying to dig up as many fossils as I can and things like that, I should probably keep my net out so in case we see any snowflakes, I can go ahead and grab those as well. Although, <laughs> gyroids and fossils do keep appearing everywhere. Here we go, first snowflake of the season. Let's see if we can find who's crafting. It is not Norma. And uh, ooh, Norma's upset because I've been gone about four months. I don't know if that's accurate. <laughs> I did skip forward uh, a little bit so that we can be in the snowy season, you know, because uh, we're not going to get a lot of festive DIYs if we're not in the right time period. But uh, I guess it was four months for Norma. Sorry, Norma. Sorry, everybody. Except I'm not sorry because that's as upset as they're ever going to get. All right. Kabuki's crafting. See, look, you show up to their house and you talk to them. See how they get all freaked out. Oh, I thought you did a runner on us. I don't even know what that means. And then... That's it. That's all they'll ever say about it. And then it's like you never left. What are you making? The big festive tree? Wow, we already got our second festive DIY. That's unbelievable. I don't even remember how long it took to get this recipe when I first played the game. It's nice that we got it on day one. The cool thing about being back on this island after so long is that the last time we did this, there was a really big money-making component to the DIY island. I had to get my whole house built. My loans paid off. Well, that's done now. So that's gonna be really, really nice. That's not to say that this won't still be super, super annoying. While money may not be a thing I need to worry about this time around, I think this is going to be the thing that gets me this challenge. There is nothing worse than trying to shake out the ornaments you need from these trees during this time of year. So whenever I get a chance, I'm gonna need to stop and, uh, you know, shake some ornaments out if we wanna craft enough recipes to actually decorate this entire island full of festive decorations. Anyway, let's keep collecting weeds. Oh, but first, let's see if we have that uh, the festive villager waiting for us. It is Tad. Yeah, I don't think Tad kind of fits the uh, the category for holiday theme villager. So 
Yeah, I'm just going to let you uh, do whatever it is you're doing in here. I don't exactly know who I'm looking for in terms of festive-like villagers, but, uh, you know, I think we'll know when we find them. I can tell you a good example is Eric, who already lives on the island. So this is one reason, <laughs> oh, Eric's kind of mad at me right now, but this is one reason that I think it's going to be really, really easy for us to, you know, make this island incredible by the time we're done decorating it, because we already have one of the most festive villagers there is. Anyway, that's a problem for later in the week. Right now, I'm doing a pretty good job, I would say, getting rid of all the weeds, making some good progress. I'm also picking up any extra flowers, and uh, you know what? My inventory's probably getting pretty full. We're gonna need to deal with all these fossils and bugs and things like that. Out of all those fossils, it looks like just this piece of poop can be donated, and these bugs can also be donated. And no, I wasn't being gross. The copper light is literally fossilized dinosaur poop, okay? I see another balloon in the distance. Let's go grab that. This could possibly be the third DIY in the series we need. Nope, it's just some sandals. I think I'm done cleaning up the entire island and I found the next snowball spawns. Thank goodness. This is a much better spot for me to try to roll a perfect snowboy. Let's see if I can do it. I'm not kidding. This is probably my first one of these in like a year. So uh, yeah, I have really, really low hopes for this coming out to be actually like perfect, but I am gonna try. And what I like to do is I actually like to roll them really, really small. I don't know why I do this, but I think it's just the simple joy that you can make a perfect snowboy that is also incredibly tiny. Let's see, does that look right? I'm gonna try it. I think we did it. It's pretty happy. I was eager to meet you even when I was still a million little flakes. As you can see, I'm a snowboy. Okay, maybe maybe I get this introduction no matter what it looks like. I think it's only appropriate that I share a DIY with you. And it's the frozen tree. And of course we need the large snowflakes too so we can craft all these items. Look at this, he's saying he's perfect too. Oh, that's amazing. All right, I'm feeling really, really confident. Let's try to make it a goal not to mess any of these up in the next week. We'll get some nook miles for that as well. And this is going great so far. This is the first batch of DIYs we've gotten in the week. I found a few more fossils, so I'm gonna donate those. And now that we have a few DIYs and the island's clean up, we need to move on to our next thing. And that next thing is going to be going on a supply run. I need to continue catching some snowflakes and I need to start shaking up some trees too. I figure right now, while I have the fewest amount of DIY recipes, this is probably the best time to be shaking trees and making the most of my time. Because even if I time skip today, it's not like I'm gonna have the energy to do too many of those to grab too many DIYs. So I'm gonna spend a lot of time today just gathering up some stuff. That said, the recipes I've found so far are pretty cool. So yeah, actually I do think we'll craft a few things because I do have a plan for a very modest build. While I was gathering snowflakes, Pietra sought me to give me a festive wreath, but I don't have any room. Happens to me all the time after I go shopping, just drop something off and come find me. Wait, will, he'll rem will he remember this? <laughs> he does. I've never had this interaction before. You must be here to pick up the festive wreath. Uh, okay, sweet. Yeah, what if I just like had left him? Would he have like, days later given it to me? I have no idea. All right, well, I did shake a bunch of trees. I caught a few snowflakes. Now's probably a good time to sell some items, but there is one more part of this challenge I haven't told you about yet. You see, DIY items are great, but all through December, Timmy and Tommy are gonna have toys on sale and i want them but since this is a diy only island i'm not allowed to have those toys unless i create a new rule that allows me to spin a wheel and if the wheel lands on present then i get a present let's try it out come on present 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 here it goes it was no present it landed on no present so the rule basically is if it lands on present i can have a present i'm gonna get to try that every in-game day to see if I can get myself something that isn't a DIY item. When I say in-game day, I mean if I time travel to a new day and I visit Timmy and Tommy's shop, I can try again. All right, 44,000 bells, I'll take that. I'll go ahead and deposit my bells. I should probably also get my daily streak going for this because I'm gonna need some Nook Miles tickets if we wanna have any chance at finding a halfway decent villager for this island. I think I found my favorite tree for shaking out ornaments. All the trees on this island are just surrounded by stuff. You know, they got cliffs near them and flowers and bushes. This one seems to be one that isn't surrounded by too much junk. So I can actually get a decent amount of ornaments without having to move too much and pick things up. This one behind it is also pretty good. It has a lot of space around that side. So yeah, I think I think these trees over here are probably where I'm gonna hang out the most when I need to get some ornaments. I know I could move stuff, but I'm actually trying not to disrupt the island too much. All I really wanna do is add to what's already here. I don't wanna do too much picking things up. 
I really just want to put more on the island. So I've gathered up a fair amount of items. Ugh, I got cockroaches in my house, which is gross. I guess we'll have to take care of all of these. Anyway, I said I had a modest build in mind, so let me show you. I think my modest build is going to start with this. We'll go ahead and give it a new paint job. We'll also make a couple of these, customize them, and then we'll get ready to redecorate the main room. I don't know if I'm going to do the entire house this week, but I think at least this room is probably a good place to start. So we're gonna take everything in here, we're gonna do this, and we're gonna do this. We'll turn on the lights, and here we are. It's completely gross. All right, let's see if we can spruce it up a bit. Sorry. All right, festive tree in the middle. We'll place our garland kind of behind it, kind of rearrange a bit here. And it does look like I have a couple of DIY wall options. These are all that, you know, the walls that came with the house. I shouldn't have these. Uh, so we'll do maybe this one for now. And for floor, these are not DIY, so I guess we could go back to honeycomb for a bit. I don't absolutely hate it, but I ugh, I do kind of dislike it. Anyway, it's <laughs> it's a work in progress. This will be something that we aim to improve throughout the week. Now, I know this isn't a lot, but maybe now's a good time to skip ahead, do a bit of time skipping before we wrap up for day one. Maybe we can get a couple more DIYs to put in here. Uh, which would be kind of nice. And it looks like Isabel's gonna share a new DIY and it's the ornament wreath, perfect. I love that we didn't even have to play and we already got another DIY. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead, we'll see who's crafting, we'll look on the beach. I don't know if animals crafting or beach DIYs give you any of the festive recipes, but it's worth looking. This must be a really cold place to sit. Let's grab our large snowflake from our first snowboy. And it looks like we might be putting our second snowboy right next to him. <laughs> this is great. I don't know where the other ball is yet, but I'm sure it's not too far away. Here it is. Get, get out of here. Okay, perfect. I think uh, the dung beetle is a really nice addition to my disgusting potluck sign but it was probably gonna make that snowball uh, really difficult for me to roll if it went any further, so I'm glad I shoot it away. Oh, and by the way, speaking of potlucks, we still have potluck merch available at crossingminute.com. Be sure to grab one of these before your next family event and before the end of the year. You just never know what's going on in someone else's kitchen, but these items will let everybody around you know that you are onto them. All right, this one might be a little bit larger than uh, its predecessor, but I think maybe they're close enough in size now to where I can combine them. Oh gosh, I'm a little bit nervous. It's not working super well. Maybe over here? Oh my gosh, please be perfect. Please be perfect. Oh, dang it. 90%. It does look 90%. I'm so disappointed. We already broke our streak of perfect snow boy. <laughs> it's not fair. I got some pity nook miles, so I guess I'll take it. That's going to be my pro tip for those of you designing snow boys. Don't put them too close to other snowboys. It You'd think maybe looking at them as a guide would be helpful. It's not. It's just trickery. Just don't fall for it. Oh, Mary doesn't look too good. I wish I had some medicine to make me feel better. Well, I'll see if I can craft you some. I know they sell it at Nooks, but this is a DIY challenge. So if I forget to craft Mary some medicine, you know, sometimes, sometimes making medicine is just really inconvenient. So things happen. <laughs> All right, what is Norma crafting? The illuminated present, no way. I am so happy we don't need to wait for balloons to get this stuff, that is amazing. I think the illuminated DIYs are some of the best items that have ever been placed into Animal Crossing. I love these so much. We are absolutely gonna need to do a night tour of the island once we finish because I am planning on putting down a lot of illuminated stuff. Look at all my chores just kind of sitting here for me to dig up. This is great. Let's see if our beach DIY is also a festive item. It is the angled signpost, which you know what? Is an item I really, really wanted when we were doing this challenge originally. <laughs> I'm so disappointed that I'm getting it now. All right, let's donate our fossils. He didn't take any of them, but that's all right. Let's go ahead and sell the fossils Blathers didn't take. And while we're here, we get to spin the present wheel. Oh, and look at that. It looks like... The present portion of the wheel is feeling a bit more generous. Let's see what we get. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Present, present, oh my gosh. No, shoot. It says no present. <sighs> all right, well, we tried. That stinks because I really want that RC helicopter. It's such a cool item. Well, I'm not gonna let all these terrible events stop me from having a little more fun. Let's go ahead and tuck the illuminated present in. Maybe like right about here for now. And we'll get the entire island in on the spirit with one of these. Well, we cleaned everything up and we got some pretty nice items. It's been a good start for day one, but honestly, it's gonna be a long week. It's day two of designing a festive island in five days using only festive DIYs. Yesterday, we got off to a really strong start collecting a small handful of festive DIYs. I made my first perfect snowboy and 
then I failed my second perfect snowboy attempt. And I found a few good trees for getting some other crafting materials as well. Oh, and we started decorating the main room of our house, and this is kind of a long-term project as we look to collect even more DIYs. It's a festive DIY. Today's plan is simple, get more DIYs. Let's go ahead and grab this large snowflake and I'm gonna look for the next snowboy that I can roll up as well. I don't know how many days we might skip today. Uh, I'll be tempted to for sure if we screw up this next snowboy attempt because we need those recipes and we have very, very limited time to get them. Do I want every single one? Yes. Can I complete this without getting every single one? Well, also yes, but it is one of my goals. So I'm very, very passionate about trying to get this right. I'm trying to find who's crafting as I look for the snowballs. I realized I did indeed forget about Mary yesterday. Uh, oops. It looks like Kid is crafting another one of my favorites, the illuminated reindeer. So we're gonna go ahead and grab this. Such a good recipe. Looks like we've learned a new reaction. Aha, and I found the snowballs. This is actually great because these are really close to my house. There's a whole bunch of space to roll them up. Let's go ahead and kick this one down. Oh, and we got here just in time. A dung beetle almost rolled this off. Uh, let's try not to bump it into any rocks. Uh, I, there is a lot of space to roll these, but there's also some pretty uh, annoying obstacles, so I gotta be careful here. All right, let's make sure we get this one right. I think we just need to roll this one a tiny bit larger. Okay, I think that's it. Oh, it's not working. Okay, 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 uh, careful. All right, this might be it. No, it's not working. Oh my gosh, it's too close to different items. Okay, I think these are the right size. Oh my gosh. Please, please, please. Yes! This one's really cool too because it's right by my house. So for a couple days at least, I'm gonna be able to grab large snowflakes just straight here from my front door. I've learned how to make the frozen bed, which is one I'm probably not gonna be making, but uh, you know what, I'll take anything. Let's hope this is another festive DIY. I don't think it's gonna be. So far it's just been food recipes, but let's see. Oh, the mango library wall. All right, well, oh, I already know it. Actually, that's not a bad wall. We might wanna go ahead and like grab some books so that we can craft that because I, I'm in need of different wallpapers and stuff that make it feel cozy. As you know, I can only use DIY walls and floors. So having options is really essential. Let's go ahead and grab our points for the day. Oh, I missed a day, shoot. I'm gonna order five books in case I do wanna make that library wall. I can buy things like this as long as they're gonna be used to craft something because this is, as far as I know, the only way you can get materials like this. So this is allowed. Checking in on Timmy and Tommy, it looks like today they have this tent. I would love to win this thing. So it is time to spin the present wheel once again. It looks like the present portion is still getting a little bit larger, which is kind of cool. Here we go. Come on, please, please, please come back around. <sighs> Okay, no tent for us. All right, so since I really don't have a lot of DIYs to start decorating with yet, I'm gonna go ahead and skip to the next day. Let's start by picking up weeds, digging up fossils, grabbing some large snowflakes, finding our beach DIY, which of course is something I already have, popping a balloon, getting more junk, and seeing who's crafting. What do we got? A festive tree, hey. That's amazing. It snowed the previous day, so I'm having to dig up a lot of extra flowers that I do not want around. Uh, I'm, I'm just impressed that the entire island wasn't covered with flowers when I came back after a long break. While we're over here, let's take care of our fossils. And then we can do another snowboy attempt. This one, I don't know. I, this is not a great area to roll these, even though there is a lot of snow. There's also a lot of obstacles. I can't really keep putting them in that same corner over there. As we saw last time, that did not go well. Maybe I can kind of put it here, maybe guarding all of the junk next to the potluck. I need to be careful though, there is a lot of stuff I can crash into making this little up and down uh, circuit that I'm making. Okay, these are looking, I would say good. Oh, maybe just a tiny bit more on this one. This is so nerve wracking. I hate this so much. Here we go. Please, please, please. I gotta stop. I, I, I cannot hang out in this area with the snowboys anymore. Oh, come on. It feels as though I'm only allowed to have one perfect snowboy per real human day which is incredibly frustrating because I need these DIYs. There's a few in particular of the ice DIYs that would look so good and I wanna spam all over the place and failing those, so annoying. Well, maybe the present wheel will cheer me up. Please, I need this, I need this so bad. Come back around, no! This is the worst day ever. Let's get our daily nook miles at least. And why don't we jump ahead one more day to see if we can get a perfect snowboy and another festive recipe or two. Isabel's giving us another recipe and it's the snowflake wreath, which is kind of cool, but something I can use maybe only on my house or on my wall in my house. So can't really decorate the island with it. Anyway, we'll grab another large snowflake and begin once again doing all of our dailies. And as I'm looking around for DIYs and things like that, I do want to point out, and it's probably already been mentioned in the comments by now, but 
I am aware of methods that you can use to ensure a perfect snowboy pretty much every time, but I really can't think of anything less fun than trying to perfectionist the snowboys. I'm having fun just kind of guessing and, and seeing how big each section is and what we can do to hopefully get it right. So that's what I'm going to continue doing. Oh, right. Yeah, you're not going to give me uh, any snowflakes. Golden Gears for our beach DIY, which is kind of a cool recipe, but something I'm not going to be using for this. Angus is crafting the giant ornament, another incredible recipe. Seems like red's here. <laughs> it couldn't matter less, but let's, you know, maybe buy some art. Oh, okay. I'm excited about this. I love these statues so much. They're always genuine and... You know, they're really great for decorating with uh, on your island. I'm obviously not going to be doing that, but uh, yeah, no, I'll, I'll definitely take a great statue. I just noticed it's snowing again, so that means we're going to have more gyroids to dig up tomorrow. Kind of annoying. I finally found the snowballs. I'm pretty worried that I'm just going to kick this one to the river. I'm going to need to find these all over again. I'm going to try to get it out of here. I guess I could move the items, but eh. We'll risk it. Why not? Here we go. Oh, yes, we saved it. It's kind of a small area to work in, but you know what? On the plus side, having another one of these by my house, kind of cool. I'm rolling this in the smallest area possible <laughs> so it doesn't accidentally hit the bigger snowball. Okay, let's hopefully, maybe, get another perfect snowboy here. Uh, it's so hard to know how big the head needs to be. Um, Is this too big? I think we're about to find out. Here we go, please, please. So close again. That time, it looks a little too big. Head should be a little better matched to my body. Yeah, I think we made the head maybe too big this time. It's really hard to tell. They're always super, super close. It's day two and I'm getting really concerned that we are not gonna get all the ice recipes. There's only a couple that I really, really want. One of them is the ice tree, which we do already have, but I would love the frozen pillars. I can see myself using those in a good few places on the island. And, you know, the frozen treats, that stuff like that would be nice to have around as well. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to do it. And yes, it did take me two days to kill all the cockroaches, which is just disgusting. Let's cheer ourselves up a little bit by crafting a few of the new things we've unlocked today. We'll get it all customized and we'll get it all thrown down to try and arrange <laughs> somehow in this room. I think I'm going to take the two festive trees and kind of put them here and maybe here. And then I'll take the illuminated present and kind of tuck it in maybe right there. We'll stick the illuminated reindeer right over here and then we'll take the big tree, the ice tree, and put that in the center. Uh, it's a bit cramped. The giant ornament is going to remain in this corner, maybe right there. Actually, no, better idea. We'll put the reindeer over here because it won't block the entrance to that room on the left. And the giant ornament can go there. So I still have plenty of room to walk around the tree into the workshop. Will all this stuff stay in this room? I don't know. This room might act as a holding area for all the cool things we unlock, or it could permanently stay decorated this way. No idea. All I know is I want a new floor and a new wall. Speaking of, there is something I've been meaning to do. But before I do, I gotta spin the present wheel. I'm worried we're never gonna get a present throughout this entire week. Oh, that's a big spin. Here we go. Uh, no, not even close. What I really meant to do, other than grab my daily Nook Miles, is get myself the Pro Decorating License, something I should have done during the original DIY challenge. Now that I have this, I can use accent walls and ceiling items. I had originally thought Happy Home was required for things like that, but that's not the case. Progressing in the Happy Home expansion would allow us to do walls and pillars in our house, but we can always do the accent walls and ceiling items. We just have to have that, you know, one thing unlocked. Now I'm able to craft things like the classic and manga library walls. This actually needs magazines. We're gonna focus on the classic library wall, which still looks really nice. And we're gonna use it as an accent wall in the background. This is, of course, temporary. What I would really like are the ice floor and wall sets, but uh, you know, for now, it looks like we're at least trying with the exception of the honeycomb floor, but I may have something to remedy that as well. Again, it's temporary, but at least it's a little less of an eyesore in here. It's, you know what? It's miserable, but it's fine. Well, we're two days in and not a whole lot of decorating has been done. So we're probably gonna need to do some more actual decorating. It's day three of designing a festive island in five days using only festive DIYs. Yesterday, our focus was on getting as many festive DIYs as possible. I also tried to get some ice recipes by rolling some snowboys, which I'm still terrible at. It's a festive DIY island. Today, we're gonna need to get some decorating done. And if we don't, we're going to be at risk of <laughs> not being able to do the most basic part of this challenge, which is to decorate the island for the holidays. 
So we're gonna give this a shot, but all of my snowboys are basically junk. All right, I've done a terrible job trying to get the ice recipes and with the clock ticking, I'm kind of losing hope. There's just a couple that I'd really, really like to get my hands on. And I'm gonna do my best today to try to get some extra recipes, but we gotta end today by getting some decorating done. It has to happen. One of the problems I've been having is I've settled into my old routine of kind of looking for fossils and things like that. I'm gonna ignore those going forward. I need to focus more on getting crafting supplies rather than things like fossils, which do nothing for me. The orange dress is our beach DIY. <laughs> Could not be more irrelevant. And it looks like the snowballs today are actually by Eric's house, which is a bit different. There's a good amount of space here to be rolling snowballs. There's also a lot of paths, so it's gonna make it a bit tough. I don't want this to shrink into nothing, if that's even possible. But uh, yeah, they're both over here, so <sighs> should we try it again? I'm making this one just a bit larger than I would normally do it, because I need to be able to see the size difference between the small and the large ball, and when they're both really small, it's hard to tell. Uh, but yeah, I have the large one now, I think. <laughs> Is that any bigger? I have no idea. And the small one is, it needs to be, needs to be the right size. I think this is pretty close, if not a little too big. Here we go again. The head's not the right size. I think I made it too small or too big. I mean, I, I don't know. I, these ice recipes elude me. And I know it's probably really frustrating to watch someone refuse to help themselves by <laughs> not uh, using the proper techniques to guarantee yourself that, uh, you know, perfect snowboy every time. But like I said, I don't enjoy doing that. I enjoy trying to like eyeball it. That's okay though, ice recipes are not the only game in town. Someone's gotta be crafting something. Today it's Pietro, and the recipe in question is the tabletop festive tree, the tiniest of all the festive trees. Such a good recipe. So let's go ahead and grab this. And now we'll look and see what's going on at Nook's Granny. Today we're spinning for one of the most adorable items in the entire game. I have to win this. Fortunately, the present section of the wheel has gotten a little bit bigger, so maybe this will work. Let's give it a shot. Come on, it's time we win one. Come back around. Oh my gosh, it was so close that time. I don't think we're ever gonna get something from this store. I think I'm just destined to be DIY only forever. The next thing I need to do is walk around a little bit because one of my goals is to try and get a new villager, a holiday-themed villager. But I can't do that if I don't kick somebody out. So we need to see, and it's been a really long time, we need to see if someone is wandering around with a thought bubble over their head. I'm kind of counting on that for achieving that goal. If nobody wants to leave, then I can't do it. And if I can't do it, then I'm going to feel very sad. I am seeing a good amount of villagers outside, but yeah, so far nobody's walking around thinking about, you know, getting out of town which kind of stinks. Let's get our daily Nook Mile reward. And I think I'm gonna do something a little bit bold and skip ahead, but you know, by like a handful of hours. I wanna see if we can get anyone else crafting today. So right now it's about 3 p.m., but uh, I accidentally skipped to like 4 a.m. before, and it was dark and I was confused. And so when I came back, you know, rolled the clock back, I got an announcement from Isabel, and apparently someone's at the campsite, but unless I was looking wrong, it, should be the same day so i didn't i didn't know you could do that i we had leaf before on what i believe was december 20th and now it's changed because i went forward and then back in time no leaf is still here maybe oh maybe there was a visitor all along but before isabel only announced leaf and because she already announced leaf we got okay she announced the campsite visit got it well maybe someone festive isn't here uh no i i would say no, probably not. Anyway, you could probably get about three DIYs a day if you're, you know, playing all day long and coming back and checking on people. So the idea is that hopefully somebody else, not you, is crafting a festive recipe today. And it looks like Norm is crafting, but is it festive? It's an ornament tree. It absolutely is festive. Let's grab this. I'm doing my best not to skip ahead too many days at this point because I'm trying to save toy day for like you know, the big finale, and it's already the 20th. So I need to be really careful about how I time skip, which is why I'm now doing this <laughs> uh, in little tiny bite-sized chunks. Okay, now it's 7 p.m. Let's see if these villagers are good for three holiday recipes in one day. Mary is not crafting, but look who's thinking about leaving. Here's a bit of a story about Kabuki here. You see, back when we did the original DIY challenge, 
we ended up getting Kabuki, and I needed a few top 50 villagers. Kabuki was up there, but I went ahead and campaigned for him to be moved up in the rankings even more. As a result, we actually made Kabuki rank number one for an entire month on Animal Crossing Portal. Since that time though, Kabuki has dropped in the rankings significantly. I'm gonna be honest, had he fallen below the top 50, I think I would have let him go. I think I would have told him he can leave and it's not a problem. But because he is still in the top 50, I'm going to see if anyone else wants to leave when we time travel to the next day. I'm honestly kind of glad because it would be really hard to let Kabuki go after such a big moment in our uh, island's history. All right, let's see if Renee has the hookup for us. It's the dark wooden mosaic wall, which I think I know how to make. Yeah. Well, still, two in one day is not bad at all. We'll go ahead and skip to the next day. Okay, hang on. Timmy and Tommy have a different toy. But it's still December 20th, it's still the same day. How did that happen? I only came in here to sell my junk before jumping to the next day, and now I'm wondering if I should spin the wheel again. As much as I want to, I'm not going to. I did say I would only spin it once per Animal Crossing day. I really do want that robot though. Good morning. We get another snowboy attempt today, and I've just found the beach DIY as well. The log mounted wall clock. It's an indoor item, but you know what? Something's very cozy about, you know, the log furniture. Could be something, you know, we, we add to our very cluttered main room. I'm also still trying to catch as many of these as I can find, sort of. Sometimes I let them pass by, but for the most part, I'm still trying to catch those, and we should have a good amount of snowflakes. What stinks is that we're, we don't have a good amount of, of items to craft uh, using the snowflakes. But hopefully today that's going to change. Looks like these three are pretty content with staying on the island, so I'll leave them alone. While I'm here though, I'll grab my points. When I go back out there though, I need to keep on the lookout for anyone who might want to move away, and hopefully it's not Kabuki. Hopefully it's someone we can part with. It's Norma. Okay, listen, Norma's been pretty good to us with recipes, all right? I have I think this whole challenge, I've only gotten festives from Norma. but. Are we gonna get a better opportunity? Really? Like, we have so many awesome villagers. I'm sorry, Norma. It's time to go. Start your new life on another island. You should be unhappy here. It's full of snow and it's cold now. Nope, listen to your heart. Get out of here. We'll see you never. Ugh, dang it. Would've been pretty cool if I hit her though and I, I timed it with saying, see you never. Whack. All right, we need to find who's crafting. It's Renee again. All right, let's see what we got. The holiday candle. All right, that's good. <laughs> I can put these all over the place if we get, you know, desperate for some lighting and we don't get all the ice recipes we want. You know what's weird? Wasn't there a snowboy somewhere over here? Like, yesterday? What is happening? Ever since I time traveled forward a little bit by accident and then had to go back, you know, because I, I went too far, everything's been a bit strange. So that snowboy's gone. Did I skip to a whole nother year? Nope, it's December 21st. I'm also struggling to find the snowballs for the day. Does the game know I'm trying to scam it? In fact, I haven't seen a single snowboy since that incident. Like all the ones I had that were not fully melted yet disappeared overnight. Okay, I did find the snowballs. They couldn't be in a worse spot. I, I was starting to wonder if there was a heat wave at some point. I can't roll these here. I have to get rid of the fountain, which I don't want to do because centering these things is annoying, but I don't know if I have a choice. <laughs> I can I can get rid of the fences, I suppose, roll them on the path, which is a bit dangerous. I don't know if it's going to disintegrate while it's on the path and then maybe build it over here. I'd rather do that because if I if I mess up this fountain setup, it, I'm going to I'm going to be annoyed. So here, let's let's try this. It'll be easier to reinstall the fences. All right, I guess we get to do some science. It does indeed look like this is getting smaller. Will it become uh, peanut sized? Will it will it become nothing after a while? Yeah, it looks pretty small. I'm gonna go ahead and just put it over here now that we've we've made it. And before I get too invested, I'm gonna get this other one out. I almost broke the first one trying to get it out of here. And the second one is not gonna be much easier. It'd be very easy for me to kick it into the concrete pillar and then that's it. Uh, so here, let's see. I'll have to move this shrub out of my way. Okay, don't don't push it into any fences, just here we go. Perfect. Okay, let's tidy things up. I really get anxiety when I have to deconstruct something temporarily. All right, let's hope we don't lose this one somehow. Okay, now that they're both here, let's see what we can do. This is probably one of the best areas that these could be in, because I have a lot of room to kind of roll them around and make them as big as I want. One thing to note, and this isn't a defense for how bad I am at making these snowboys, but one thing to note is that different Animal Crossing games have different rules as to the dimensions 
of the snow people. I'm sure someone like Korra could clean this up with science and facts, but I'm just gonna run my mouth for a sec. Like, if you've ever played Animal Crossing New Leaf, you probably know that the snow boy's head needs to be almost the same size as the snow boy's body. Like, that was my experience, and that's how I remembered. And the snow boys in New Leaf were even more addictive to make. I mean, they literally had like a gambling component to them when you finish building them. So I made a lot of New Leaf snow boys trying to, you know, collect all the things. And I think I still tried way too hard to make the snow boys in New Horizons the same dimensions as the snow boys in past Animal Crossing games. Because I would say one thing that's pretty distinct about this version of Animal Crossing is that the head needs to be smaller than the body to the point where it's it's noticeably smaller but it still needs to be kind of large i i still in my opinion if, if i were building a real snow person i would probably want these to be a little bit closer like this this isn't it i think it needs to be the tiniest bit larger but not much like this is where things get a little confusing i think that might be it maybe just a touch this way and then on top here we go there it is so yeah, the head is still pretty large, a bit larger than I would do it in real life, but you know, not as big as the ones in New Leaf. I think the ones in New Leaf needed to be larger because their eyes were literally like a slot machine and they needed a lot of room. I don't know. Let's see what DIY we get. It's the frozen sculpture. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Our DIY haul for the day then includes these two garbage recipes and then we have the snow sculpture, the holiday candle, the tabletop festive tree, and the ornament tree, all Incredible items, uh, uh, well, except for these two. I think we officially now have enough stuff to, oh, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> Please be a recipe. Oh, that would be incredible. It's just 5,000 bells, okay. As I was saying, I think we now officially have enough stuff to do some decorating around the island. So let's get to crafting. And one of my favorite things to do when decorating for holiday seasons in this game is a lot of repetitive patterns. And items like this are perfect for scratching that itch. I made four before running out of red ornaments, but while we're here, we'll make a couple more things. Now I know this might be a little bit upsetting, but I kind of ran out of stuff and I was trying to make two of these reindeer and two of these trees. I only managed to make one each, but hey, I stepped out here and I saw that I already have one of these trees and reindeer just kind of doing nothing. So, I mean, maybe I just kind of borrow these for now. Well, don't worry, we'll we'll still decorate this before the end of the challenge. Don't worry, I am worried. I'm worried that I'm not gonna get enough materials. <laughs> we'll figure it out. I did forget that I need to customize these, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm trying to look around for like different color schemes that I could use and kind of spam around quite a bit. For the inside of my house, I've been leaning on blue a lot. I think for the outside though, at least the section we're gonna do today, I'm gonna go with green for everything. I'll probably play with different color schemes as time goes on, but for now, let's give this a shot. I ran out of customization kits. Ooh, let's spin for this dollhouse. That present section gets larger every single time it seems. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I don't think this is gonna be it. Yeah, yeah, that kind of tracks. Anyway, I'm gonna buy a whole bunch of these. I'm gonna keep making things green, but I was thinking about it, and I think another really cool thing to do would be to complement these items with red festive items. Like when I go ahead and put like the festive trees down and stuff, I can make those red, and I think that'll be a really cool contrast. Until then though, the green items are looking really awesome. And I think it makes the most sense to start here at the entrance. So I'm going to try and leave stuff alone. I don't wanna take anything away, I just wanna add stuff. However, I do need to dig things out of here. Let's start with the larger items with the frozen trees. We'll put those kind of by the cherry trees a little bit. Uh, we'll make it seem like they're kind of part of this cluster of trees over here. So we'll put this maybe, I don't know, right about there. We'll push it up one more. Okay, yeah, well, let's start there. We'll kind of keep them side by side just like that. Then we have our ornament trees, which honestly could act like street lights. These things light up really pretty at night. And I was thinking of having them along the paths, probably in a lot of different areas. So I'm gonna put those right here. This is one reason I like having really wide paths in Animal Crossing, because when you do wanna decorate on them, it doesn't really stop you from still running all over the place. This also means we can keep things where they currently are and still have these, you know, placed in any symmetrical kind of pattern we want. This doesn't look too bad, but my brain is telling me that I want them here at the corners. So dealing with this sign not moving is kind of cramping my style. Since this is already challenging enough for me, I am gonna go ahead and move the signpost over and put this right 
here. It certainly feels a, a touch cluttered, but this looks better than the way it was in my opinion. I'm gonna move these ones back to the very edge of this path. And now we just need to place down our illuminated reindeer. We went with a bit of symmetry before, so now we're gonna change this up a little bit. Yeah, I think something like that. And what I'm planning on doing now is putting other little items just throughout this area. And those will be red. So that will, will contrast with the green really nicely. Oh, I can't wait to see this at night. If I want those red items though, I'm going to need to shake some trees. So here we go again <laughs> with the crafting material grind. I managed to get a few more ornaments and definitely not enough to get us by for a long period of time, but it should get us through the rest of this build. It looks like for these, I'm gonna need tree branches. I was not anticipating that. For now though, let's go ahead and make an illuminated present, a couple of ornament garlands, and then we'll find some tree branches. I definitely have a whole bunch at home, but I'm just feeling really lazy right now. Isn't it funny how being lazy actually just causes you to do more work just because you don't feel like walking a few extra steps and loading into your house. All right, now we can craft a couple of these. Once I get more gold ornaments, I mean. Honestly, I can't believe this takes five gold ornaments. <laughs> and yes, yet again, those are the ones I'm out of. I always knew there was one type of ornament that was really difficult to get in this game, and I do think it's the gold ornament. And I don't think it's because it's any more rare than the other ornaments. I think it's just because too many of the recipes require too many gold ornaments, and so you're just using them more. But I don't know, again, science, data, not my strong suit. So the plan for these little trees was to kind of put them maybe like here, maybe one up here. Actually, that's sticking out too far. Plus, I didn't try customizing this first. I wonder, could we make it more red? It does indeed have a red variation to it. The illuminated present, on the other hand, this is as red as it gets. I guess we'll keep it this way, but uh, I'm worried it's not gonna, it's so yellow. It's not gonna like match that area super well. We'll see. I think since these ornament garlands look so similar to the ornament trees, I'm gonna make those green. Let's try this illuminated present right here. Again, I'm probably not gonna keep it, but let's just see. It actually doesn't look too bad at night. It'll kind of look, you know, different. We'll get to see it. So I'm gonna put it maybe like here and maybe next to the hay bales the yellow will kind of work. I don't know. We'll put this back where it was. And I think I'm going to put the other one next to this present a little bit. Uh, should we put it maybe pushed up against the tree like this? Yeah, that looks pretty good. And there's not a ton of space for the ornament garlands in the background of this spot. It could go, you know, maybe they go in the front, but I have a better idea. Let's stretch some of our holiday decorating into this area and put the ornament garlands maybe here in front of these trees. I think that looks kind of cool. I, I don't know. I thought it would look better. I think in the context of this section of the entrance, they look pretty nice, but it is encouraging me to want to put more things here and here. Maybe that's where the larger festive trees come into play. Uh, so, you know, it, it's a developing area. Now those larger trees not only require gold ornaments, which I'm basically out of, they also require wood, which I'm also basically out of. So I'm gonna shake these to see if there's any wasp nests inside them. And they're gonna take my stone ax and, and grab some wood while we're up here. Okay, that should help quite a bit. There's definitely more places I could chop, but I think this will get us through. I'm only trying to make a couple of these right now. Shaking these trees to get what I need is as bad as I expected it to be for this challenge. <laughs> we have so much island to decorate and so few gold ornaments. Look at this one of all of these ornaments was gold. And this is just how it's been, just getting so much red and blue. Hit the like button if you can relate. Okay, we've made some progress. I'm hoping this was enough to make the trees that I'm trying to make. Looks like we're good for the big festive tree and we're good for the regular sized festive tree. We'll change these to their red variants and then we'll put them out here. So I'm thinking for this, we maybe put the larger tree over here since there's less items and we'll put the smaller one over here since it's a little more cluttered as it is. So let's go ahead, let's place it right here and maybe we move it over here, and maybe right there. Yeah, I'd say it looks pretty good. One nice thing about being outside is that you get a lot more balloons. This one is 10,000 bells, which I mean, with all the customization kits I'm buying, I'll take, but I was kind of hoping for a recipe. All right, and here's this big festive tree. It looks so good. I forgot how tall this was. I actually think I'm gonna move it down this way. We'll put it maybe like right up on this table right here. You can still walk around it pretty well. And oh, oh yeah, that looks really, really good. I'd say a couple more DIYs out here, maybe some illuminated presents or something we just don't have yet. 
and this area is going to feel pretty complete. Now I'd like to skip ahead a little bit and try to get another festive DIY. So I'm going to skip to nighttime. We'll see who's crafting and we'll also get to see this thing all lit up. I'm hopeful we can get one more recipe today. It's not kid crafting, but it looks like Angus is. Oh, please be something good. It's a deer scare, which even though it's a deer thing, it's, it's not... It's not a festive recipe. Oh, I should have tried earlier in the day. All right, well, let's see how our build turned out. Really, we can't get the full experience until it's nighttime. So we walk over here. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I mean, I could definitely use more stuff for sure, but I have to do this to the entire island. So I don't know how like cluttered I can really afford to make this, but look, oh my gosh, look at this. And we got Celeste here too. That's amazing. I don't think I got like any Celeste recipes when we did the original challenge. Like, is this my first time meeting Celeste? Are you a resident of this island? It is. Looks like I'm gonna get the wand recipe. I'm not too concerned about getting Celeste recipes for this. Even though they do look pretty cool, I think they'd fit the vibe. Uh, it just, just not something that we're gonna have time for, unfortunately. But look at this. I mean, with resident services in the background and then all of this stuff that we're putting down, it's looking so nice out here. Oh, this is... This is amazing. I cannot wait to have this whole island just done up like this. Maybe we'll attempt to do a little more decorating tomorrow, but we have a villager hunt to do. It's day four of designing a festive Animal Crossing island in just five days using only festive DIYs. Yesterday we collected some more festive DIYs, we said goodbye to Norma, and I began decorating the entrance for the holiday season. It's a festive. My entire life is just shaking this tree. It's going kind of fast though. I mean, I know that's just kind of RNG, but at the moment the ornaments are dropping at a decent rate, but this is what I have to do. If I want to decorate this entire island and get it ready for the festive season, then I just have to shake this tree. Even if I don't get all the frozen recipes and, and snowflakes and stuff to make all that furniture, at the end of the day, this really is the important furniture to have ornaments for, and I gotta do it. Aside from shake this tree all day, my plan is to get one or two new recipes. I think I have quite a few of them, definitely enough to do some really cool stuff around the island, and craft some more things and decorate some more as well because we're very, very quickly running out of time. Another part of our plan today, if I'm not mistaken, is that we have a villager hunt to do as well. This is gonna be a very busy one. I also should at least attempt to roll a snowboy today. And if we're successful, what I'm hoping I finally get is the ice pillar. If I don't get it, it's not the end of the world or anything, but it's just a cool recipe. I wanted to kind of put those around the island a little bit. And I'm realizing as well that because I've failed so many snowboy attempts at this point, I'm not gonna have enough large snowflakes to make much of the ice stuff anyway. So even if I do get the pillar, I probably won't be able to make more than a couple of them, but it's, I still want it. And perhaps I'll be motivated to time skip around and, and do some better jobs at making the snowboys and getting, you know, large snowflakes as well. Who knows what things will motivate me as time goes on. I just wanna show you how bad the imbalance of gold to red to blue ornaments is. Gold ornaments are used in so many recipes and so many of them, I believe, that it's just impossible to ever have enough. Whereas red and blue, it's never an issue. I haven't even hit 30 gold ornaments yet and I have 60 plus blue ornaments. I almost have 60 red ornaments. It's so unfair. I thought by now I was working on my second stack of gold ornaments. I've been sitting here forever. <laughs> and I'm glad some are dropping now, but this is absurd. In order for me to hopefully have enough gold ornaments to make the things I wanna make, I was hoping to get like two stacks. Do I have enough patience to do that right now or am I just gonna have to keep coming back to this tree and taking little breaks in between so I don't bash my head through a wall? I, I don't know. I'm gonna just see if I can tough it out. Okay, so my goal was two entire stacks of gold ornaments. We did that plus one. So this is really good. We have some ornaments. I mean, we have three plus stacks of blue and red, but hey, you know, two stacks of gold 
is probably all we need for now. I'm gonna go ahead and do an inventory reset for the moment, and my plan is to make a couple of axes. Now, these are just flimsy axes, but I'm going to upgrade them as soon as I get more wood. We'll put that goal aside for now, and we'll look for our two DIYs for the day. And our beach DIY is scattered papers, which is something I didn't have, but something I definitely don't need. Angus is our crafting villager for the day, but Angus didn't want to teach me a recipe, and I'm now realizing something. Maybe it's the stress of the holiday season, but I don't think I set the clock right. I think we're still on the previous day. It could also explain why there's a snowboy here, that isn't melting at all, and I can't find any new snowballs to roll. Yeah, I think I messed up. Okay, this is more like it. Tomorrow, we bid farewell to Norma. That's okay, that means I get to skip ahead another day so we can achieve our villager hunt in this episode. And it also means we get to run around and collect even more DIYs. Our next beach DIY is actually a food recipe. It's gonna be the carrot bagel sandwich. Tell me in the comments, have you ever eaten a carrot bagel sandwich? Does that even sound good? Let's go ahead and say goodbye to Norma officially. And we'll get our crafting recipe from Kid. It's gonna be the jingle wall, which is great. Let's get a large snowflake. And let's attempt to roll up another perfect snowboy. This is gonna be really difficult because like the prime real estate for the perfect snowboy is already taken up by this one. <laughs> I'm wondering if I should roll this over the bridge and then try to build it near my house. I got one over the bridge. I'm gonna try to get the other one there and without, you know, breaking it. I'd hate to like get the first ball all rolled up, nice, ready to go, and then just smash this one against something. It's very satisfying to watch these roll on a bridge. Check this out, check this out, here we go. Wee! And it makes it all the way over too, which I wasn't expecting. I thought it would kind of like drop in the middle, but gravity seems to work differently in this universe and I'm, I'm here for it. I just want to study this one for a moment and try to get the proportions correct. If you look carefully, it does obviously look like the head is smaller than the body, but not by too much. Enough to where it's noticeable, you know, without having to look too hard. But, but not too, too much. So I would say right now, the proportions are not right. This ball is too small. And I think this is a bit closer. The ball on the left is definitely smaller than the one on the right, but not by much. And if we roll it just a tiny bit more towards the body, we could end up uh, with a not perfect snow boy. I literally hate these so much. Perhaps the present wheel will be more kind to us today. All right, here we go. It's got to hit present at least once, right? Oh my gosh. We finally did it. I am finally allowed to buy the very first non-DIY item of this entire island's history. It is the tin robot, and we are going to use this uh, hopefully for something cool. Okay, I guess the first non-DIY item, if you don't count customization kits, which I can't make on my own, so I have to buy these. The next thing we need to do today is buy some Nook Miles tickets. Has, as to how many, I'm not sure. I think we'll just get like a small handful. I don't want to spend too much time looking for like the perfect villager, right? It's It's got to be a balance between some decorating we need to do today and then finding the perfect festive themed villager. We have 14,610 points left. That is 10 tickets. 10 tickets I'm going to allow myself for this villager hunt. All right, it's time to see if we can find a festive villager to replace Norma. I want you to remember as we go through this villager hunt, it is kind of up to my interpretation of what makes a villager festive. And I'm pretty picky, but I'm gonna try my best to be, you know, kind of open-minded about who could join the village and who would bring the most festive cheer with them. While I'm on at least this first island, I'm going to try and chop down some trees and collect some more wood because we're gonna need that for crafting purposes. And, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much behind on getting those types of basic materials. I managed to craft myself a nice sharp ax and we'll use it to cut down trees. I don't think saying that is much of a surprise. And I'm just now realizing I had better use it to cut down some trees. These ones I already collected from uh, because I forgot to skip ahead a day. There's, there's no villager here. I'll have to skip ahead a day and collect one more ticket so we can actually do a 10 ticket villager hunt. Norma's still in boxes. <laughs> She's not gone till the next day. I get so confused when I play multiple days of Animal Crossing all at once. All right, not a terrible haul, but uh, yeah, we got a lot of work to do. All right, it is now Toy Day Eve. So we'll go ahead and start to do some dailies, but ultimately my plan is to get this villager hunt out of the way. But hey, I'll take some large snowflakes. Kid is crafting again, and it's the Illuminated Snowflakes, another incredible DIY. I'm so glad we unlocked this. I'm going to try to quickly whip up a snowboy, you know, because everyone does their best work when they're in a rush. To be honest, though, this is the very best spot that the snowboy <laughs> could have spawned because I have the largest straightaways of just like snow. 
Uh, the head is looking a little bit small still, but I mean, I've been wrong before. So that good. No, see now it feels too big. I think this is it. Let's try it. No, it's just impossible. Our beach DIY is the gold armor. Kind of a cool recipe. I can almost see how it could be used in certain parts of maybe festive builds. Uh, I don't know. Oh, maybe that's something. Let's see what we got here. That's just a display stand. There's a new toy on display at Timmy and Tommy's. I figure I had to give the present wheel one more try for the day. All right, come on back around present. No, that's not happening. I'm not even mad anymore. We got a present and that's all that matters. Time to get on with our 10 ticket villager hunt. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love when it snows in Animal Crossing. It looks so good. Freya's really cool, but Freya does not fit the theme, in my opinion. So we'll move on. Let's try ticket number two. Who are we gonna get? It's Yuka or Yucca or you know what? It doesn't matter because they're not coming to the island. Oh my gosh. I haven't seen Chatter in forever and I'll be happy if I never see him again. Well, look who it is. It's Elmer. I, I literally had to talk to them because I wasn't sure who it was. Elmer's pretty adorable but uh, I just don't think fits the festive vibe. All right, we've used half our tickets so far. Let's see which person is on, or I guess animal is on this island. Ah, it's Cherry. I don't think you fit the festive vibes. Again, another incredible villager. It's just not working out. Let's climb up here. I have no idea who this is. Lucy. I think in all my time playing this game, I've never come across Lucy, at least in person. Maybe I've seen uh, pictures or Lucy maybe in other dream islands and stuff. Regardless, Lucy, to me, is not a very festive villager. Our next find is Luca, which, again, pretty cool villager. I think the uh, the overall vibe of, of Luca is, is wrestler. And while Luca looks a bit festive, uh, I, I don't really need anyone running around tackling people and hitting them over the head with folding chairs when we're just trying to enjoy Toy Day. Okay, now this is what I'm talking about. Aurora, I mean, although having some uh, pretty deep eyes <laughs> i don't know i gotta say pretty festive villager if you ask me a penguin really in in december when it's snowing i i don't know i think yes we've used how many tickets now a bunch we have two chances left if we don't take aurora with a name like aurora too i'm sorry aurora Welcome to G-Wiz. And just to be clear, I said I'm sorry. I'm just sorry to anyone who disagrees. And I'm sorry that you have a Grinch-like spirit, okay? Because Aurora is the perfect fit for G-Wiz now that it's getting a festive holiday transformation. Now I would like to focus on some decorating, but before we do, I think I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit to the evening hours. It'll give me a chance to maybe score another festive recipe and it'll be a little bit darker. These lights might start to come on as we go and it's just gonna look really, really cool. All right, time to look around and see who's crafting. Oh my gosh, oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know why, but I, I, thought, I thought he was naked. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta admit, the way the light's hitting right now, it doesn't look like he's wearing anything. All right, it's Kabuki. What do we got? The bamboo wall. <sighs> okay. Not really what I was hoping for. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we'll skip ahead one more time today and see if we can get something else, but I'll take it. All right, in terms of recipes, where does that leave us? We've managed to collect some pretty cool stuff. By no means is this a complete set of anything, but I think this is enough to give the island the festive kind of vibes that I'm going for. So since I'm still a bit low on materials, let's run around. We're going to shake up these trees, make sure we don't get stung. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab my stone axe again and just grab a bit more wood. There goes my axe. That's okay. I think this flimsy one I made earlier will tie us over. And I still have a few more trees to chop, but uh, it's looking pretty good. The normal wood, the one that's not the harder soft wood, is, is dropping pretty well. So we should get ourselves at least enough to craft a nice handful of items. I'm not gonna do the entire island right now or anything, but we're gonna focus on one or two areas and, and just kind of, you know, do them up a bit. Then of course, tomorrow's the really big day because we need to basically finish. <laughs> and I think we can do it because, you know, similar to how we decorated this entire DIY island, we're not gonna be putting, you know, festive stuff on every single tile that is on the island. We're just doing, you know, uh, a good bit of it. Basically, anywhere you go, there should be some bit of festive cheer. Okay, let's head home and start to get ready. Okay, I'm loading my inventory up with all of the crafting materials I think I'm gonna need, but checking these recipes, it seems that we are gonna need things like clay, tree branches, weeds, iron. It is gonna be quite a full 
inventory here if I want to not have to keep opening my storage over and over again. All right, perfect. Every item I can make has a little hammer icon on it, which means we can make all this stuff. First things first, I'm going to craft a jingle wall. I'm going to go ahead and make that the primary wall in this room. Ooh, yeah, that's looking really good. I really wish I would have gotten more a more neutral floor as like a DIY this entire time. I just have the weirdest floors. But uh, maybe, just maybe, uh, we'll still get the recipe for the, I assume it's called Jingle Floor. And that'll look a lot nicer. I do like the books in the background still. I think I'll keep that. But now the rest of my focus is going to be outside my house. And I'm just going to craft a bunch of this stuff. I'm going to customize it. And we'll start putting some things down. I have to say, the most important recipe we unlocked for sure is the ornament tree. This is going to basically act as our street lights around the whole town. Now... You know me, I love to line my paths with stuff, so yeah, I'm pretty excited about the ornament tree. I'm trying to see if there's any more. Uh, I did make a couple of sculpture sculptures, and they're going to be put, if I can fit them, uh, aside, alongside my house. So we'll place one here, and I just want to center it, if I can, between these two trees, which I cannot. <laughs> Great, that's already going really good. Uh, maybe, okay, I have a better idea. We will just surround the front of my house with the big ice statues. Yeah, I'd say that's working pretty well for me. We're heading up to resident services because I have some ideas. There's a spot right here, okay? It's like right along the path. It's always been very vacant, which makes me sad. So I'm gonna try something. I don't wanna get rid of the flower, but I wanna see if I can fit a couple of things in here. So I made a medium-sized festive tree. I thought that could go maybe sort of over here. And then I wanted to see if it was possible to kind of surround it with a couple of illuminated presents. So yeah, maybe one could go right there and one could maybe go right here and maybe we can kind of have it on the path a little bit. Mm, okay, maybe that's all right. I think something like this is kind of cool and perhaps an ornament tree could go here again as like a street light or something. It needs it needs a little more. Maybe a larger tree is needed. I thought the little medium sized one would do good, but eh. another nice vacant spot. It's like right over here in front of Eric's house. So I thought what would look cool is a couple of giant ornaments just over here. I made a few different color variants of these. So let's see if I put a, maybe a pink one here and I put the blue one sort of close by. Let's bring it down a little bit. Honestly, what would look perfect right here is the big illuminated tree, which I don't think I'm going to have time to get. I hope I'm wrong about that. But uh, hey, these are pretty cool. We could always put like a festive tree or something right here. Or... Maybe our illuminated tree is in there. It's going to fall on the river if I don't wait for it to get over the bridge. So I'll just stand here, I guess. All right, let's see what we got. It's a cycling cap. Uh, yay. Another thing I made is the illuminated snowflake uh, recipe. This, These are just amazing. I wanted to see what this looked like. I want to make more. And this is the rainbow variant, which I think looks really, really cool. And I thought just right behind these hedges here, they would look nice. I think we're probably going to be able to fit, gosh, Five of these? I don't know. <laughs> uh, hopefully I don't run out of materials. But yeah, just like lining the front of Able Sisters. Nooks is already decorated really well, so maybe something else over here instead of illuminated snowflakes, we'll figure it out. I have a third giant ornament. I'm just gonna pop that up here for now. <laughs> um, it may it may move. I don't know. Something's gonna go up here, so why not this? But doesn't that look kind of cool? It looks like it just fits there really well. Now, as I said, the ornament tree is going to act as kind of like a, a street light alongside the paths, all right? So I think putting it right here behind the house and then trying to figure out how many to go between that one and uh, I guess this path up here will be interesting. Actually, you know what I'd rather do? I think I'm gonna put them between these benches. There's these blank spots just between the benches here that I think would be perfect for some of these larger decorations. So if we put it here and we kind of turn it so the lights face the camera, yeah, yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's do that. I'm still very much interested in having a bit of symmetry in this town. So yeah, this is this is going to work for me. But perhaps the place where I'm most excited to try these is up here on this little boardwalk area. I don't know how many I want to put up here yet, but we're just going to start to like remove some of these rope fences and fit them in. So I guess we could try, you know, maybe one here. And I think symmetry wise, I kind of figured out the formula. So when there's like three little rope swoops, then there's a light, right? So three rope swoops, three more, light. Light here, a light here. And the only one that looks a little bit weird is this one with just one rope swoop. Does the rope swoop make sense? Uh, hopefully, hopefully it makes sense. Anyway, so yeah, kind of like this. The reason I'm excited about these is because I think they're gonna look really, really cool at night when you're on this side of the river. 
And heck, I'm probably gonna go ahead and just match the ornament trees on this side as well. I don't know how many more it's gonna take, so let's make a bunch. Surprisingly, where this project is costing me the most is actually customization kits. Just for these alone, it costs four customization kits per. So I'm eating through them really quickly. And I mean, I just recently spent 50K on more of them. And it's just, ah, they go so fast. I have no intention of doing any money-making methods for this challenge. And I'm hoping the like 150,000 bells I have left in my bank will be enough to finish. Okay, so we just have two more on this side before we go ahead and start placing them on the opposite side of the river. And it should be as simple as just kind of removing these fences in line with the ones that are across the way. And yeah, that is looking really, really nice. Looks like it's only gonna take two more to go ahead and finish off this part of the project. Let's go ahead and spend some more money and we'll put down our last two ornament trees. I love a good canal. <laughs> Look at this. It looks so good. It's not quite as dark out as I was hoping. These aren't on yet, but maybe they will be soon. Let's make some more. I went ahead and made four, got them all customized. And as I'm placing them down, I'm gonna see, can I fit five all next to each other? It's not looking like five are gonna quite fit. Four looks a lot more realistic. Yeah, that would be four. And yeah, they fit really well. Let me craft one more. Let's take two of them and put them right here. Just tucked between those trees. I made those ones pink because I thought they would contrast well with the blue kind of in the background with all the, the street lights we've put down. And yeah, again, once it's nighttime, oh, that's gonna look so good. Could this balloon contain an illuminated tree? No. Well, in any case, we got a lot done today and tomorrow, is Toy Day and our last chance to finish this island off and give it the proper festive treatment it always deserved. It's day five of designing a festive Animal Crossing island using only festive DIYs. It's also Toy Day. Yesterday we collected even more DIYs. We invited Aurora to come live on Gee Whiz and we did more decorating. Today we see about wrapping this whole thing up. It's a festive. This is it, our final day of the challenge. Jingle is here, and I think I would like to do the event today. I don't remember the rewards, honestly. I remember the pile of presents, which you need like red wrapping paper to make, so I don't know if we'll be able to make that. And I think there's another reward as well. I, I don't know, there's some things that I don't think are DIYs that we can get. It's just hard to remember, so I think I'm gonna do it. Jingle's asking me to craft the festive wrapping paper. Here's the recipe for it. And all he needs is three pieces. I kind of wish he would give me the materials because those are precious right now. It's not so bad though. Each piece of wrapping paper only costs one of each ornament. So we'll go ahead and get these crafted up and hand them over to Jingle. And we'll receive the Toy Day stockings, which are not a DIY, so I will not be using them. And now I'm being asked to deliver Toy Day presents. I just noticed how Jingle's mouth is like all the way on the side of his face. And I'm kind of curious. If I talk to him over here, okay. <laughs> so you can't see his mouth moving at all. I was just wondering if his mouth was like the same on both sides, cause that would be freaky. In any case, we've been asked to deliver gifts and we have until 5 a.m. to do so. And we should get a reward for that. What I love about this event is how chill it is. Literally just here is a bag of all the things you need. Just talk to your villagers. And I really like that. I like that for a few reasons. Mainly because it's easy and after the Thanksgiving Day event and other events as well, it's kind of nice to do an event that requires you to talk to your villagers but doesn't ask too much of you. And the other reason that's really cool is because this time of year for people is really busy. Like people are spending time with their families and they don't really have time to like play several hours of Animal Crossing. So it's something for folks who can jump on and, and hang out with their villagers. But if they do, it's not gonna take all day. As we do this, we may as well look for our, you know, beach DIY, which is probably not gonna be a festive recipe. And the other thing I'm gonna wanna do today is just tidy up the island a little bit because I'm also thinking what we're gonna do once we're done decorating is update the dream address, but maybe temporarily. I'm thinking it would be cool to update the dream address, let people kind of explore it for the holidays. And then after December, I'll probably take the island and bring it back to its finished form, minus all of the toy day decorations and update it for perhaps the last time. Of course, never say never, but as far as DIY islands go, I'm thinking there's not much more we can do with Gee Whiz. We'll give Angus a gift. Mary has somehow survived the series, so we'll give her a gift as well. Kabuki's sleeping, and usually I let them sleep. <laughs> but uh, this time we're gonna wake him up. 
and give him a gift. Now this is where Aurora lives, and I'm not sure if we can give Aurora a gift. That's because you're still in boxes, but let's try anyway. Yeah, Aurora is not interested in accepting a present right now. Just a couple more houses. Everyone has these adorable Santa hats, and I want one. This is ridiculous. All right, last but not least, it's Renee. Now, uh, there's no one crafting, which isn't too surprising. I forgot during events, like, nobody crafts anything. But that would have been kind of cool. Uh, I don't think we're going to get any festive recipes today unless it's from, you know, Jingle himself or Balloons. I'm not even going to think about the snowboys. There's no way I don't fail my final snowboy attempt. I checked all the beaches and also did not find any DIYs, which was pretty interesting. All right, let's see what we get for delivering all those presents. What do we get in return? It is that gift pile recipe I mentioned earlier. The one that basically no one can craft day one because no one anticipates needing red wrapping paper. I honestly should have seen this coming and I didn't, even though I've done this event several times before. Ooh, yikes. It looks like I did forget about kid. It's weird that I got the reward. <laughs> <laughs> but it let me forget about an entire villager. Mm, okay, hold on. Where is Kid? Okay, Kid's just over here enjoying some fishing. Let's see. Can I get you to stop fishing by pushing you for a minute? Let's try it. I think this works. Come on. Come on, Kid! Okay, you just have to talk to him for a few times, and uh, that is how <laughs> you get him to stop fishing. Okay, now we can go collect any other rewards that were due. Jingle was like each and every present you know, was delivered. I'm getting celebrated for that, but Aurora didn't get anything, which feels terrible. And there we go. It's the Toy Day Slay, which is not a DIY, so I feel a little bit guilty using it. With that out of the way, we can now focus on finishing up the island. I'm going to put a couple more Lilies of the Valley around this tree, because I never got a chance to do that during the original challenge. Uh, I'm going to sell the rest, though, but this is, this is kind of like the... Uh, the trophy area of the island, so I wanted to finish that. I was coming in here to spin the wheel for a toy, not realizing that the toys are now done. That's it. We, <laughs> I guess yesterday was our final chance to get a Toy Day toy, which is pretty sad. Uh, we did get the Tin Robot, though, so that's good. We got that just in time. In that case, let's try for at least an ice recipe today. I don't think we're going to make it. I don't think we're going to do it at all. We've been failing most of these, but it's worth a try. Who knows? Maybe... By some holiday miracle, we'll make a perfect snow boy. At least I get one large snowflake from this one. I know it sounds a bit odd, but I would love to get the ice floor from this. I know I've been saying the pillar and there's other really cool recipes, but, oh man, the, <laughs> the reason I want the ice floor is because I don't have a good floor for the inside of my house. I need to destroy this now. There we go. Uh, we'll have to try that one later. I talked a lot of smack about red and blue ornaments earlier on, but... Now, I actually have more gold than anything else, so I'm going to try and look for some recipes that require maybe more gold ornaments. Uh, this one requires red. Illuminated reindeer requires some gold, and I have an idea. This could be a big waste if I don't like what ends up happening here. <laughs> Let's try it. So the thought was to maybe have the reindeer lining this path. So I made four of them and ran out of materials. We'll have to go fix that. But I don't know about lining the path. I kind of have a different vision in my head now. What if we kind of centered them on the path? Kind of like this. And it looks pretty cool. You can easily walk around them. Uh, part of me wants to put them side by side. And it just depends on how many excess materials I get. But this is kind of cool, right? I kind of wonder if I can do, instead of side by side, I could drag them all the way down to this bridge. And we create a really neat looking, like, you know, separation on this path. Uh, and I could spread them out a little bit more. I also made one more. I thought this guy could maybe lead the pack. Let's leave them here for now and uh, get to shaking some trees. It's going to take quite a while, but I'm hoping to make this the last time I need to shake any trees this season. I have a pretty healthy supply of ornaments now. I'm hoping that's all I need. I'm happy to get more if not, but that, was, <laughs> that took a really long time. <laughs> and because of that, I don't want to overcraft, uh, you know, items for stuff like this. So I'm thinking maybe three... Uh, Probably do four more of these reindeer. All right, we'll do four more, which is a lot, but that should get us a really cool looking, you know, path decoration. I made two and I ran out of iron. And of course the first rock I'm, I find is the money rock. I used to be really happy about stuff like this, but no, I, I need iron. And then of course the second rock doesn't have any iron at all. Okay, this is only a bit better. Oh boy, I'm getting really nervous. Okay, this last rock was a little more generous, but in total we only have 12 iron nuggets. So I think the amount of illuminated reindeer we have right now is good enough. Okay, so now it's just a matter of kind of separating them out. So let's see. This is a bit challenging because I'm not doing anything to measure how many spaces are between each one, but uh, I just kind of have to shove them around until they look like they all have the same amount of space between them. I don't think they're perfect, but I think they're perfect enough 
for me. Uh, it's it's clear that I'm not going to be able to do this really well unless I start placing items down and really trying to count the tiles between each one. But this looks good. Overall, I love the split path with the reindeer. I like how repetitive it looks. And then, you know, Rudolph in the front looks really awesome. Okay, maybe one more tweak. I think that actually made it look a lot better. All right, I've been going around and just kind of getting things ready for more decorating. I need to put something out here in front of my house because it just looks really stark and boring. And I also need to plan out other path decorations as well. Now, this is a pretty big space and I don't have a lot of materials left over. And I'm not talking about the ornaments. I'm talking like iron and basic stuff like that. So because I'm starting to get spread pretty thin, I thought instead of decorating this entire path over here, I would kind of make like a little display. I tried a couple different combinations, but I think this is pretty nice. It's, you know, subtle, it's it's not over the top. And then you come up here and you got the big ice bears. So it's not, not like I did nothing up here. And if I have some leftover materials, maybe we'll do something around this tree or I don't know, something. The other thing that I thought would look pretty cool would be some holiday candles just kind of on this path. And, uh, you know, just, just as a way to kind of like greet you and guide you over to the shopping district. So we have a set here and then here and then something a little bit different when you reach this intersection. I don't know if this is going to work, so <laughs> bear with me. Let's see. Uh, you kind of have to scoot around it. It does block the path in sort of an obnoxious way. That's not super fun. What if I push them back a little bit? All right, you can still easily run around this and I want people to stop and look at my most prized possession. I present to you the display area for my tin robot. Yes, the one and only item we were able to get through spinning the wheel all week long. I think it looks glorious right here, and it's the perfect warning sign to anybody entering the shopping district. Even if you are adamant on only using DIYs, you too could be tempted into the consumeristic nature that is the holiday season. So beware. Is consumeristic a word? I, I don't know. Oh, perfect timing, Balloon. What if you're a recipe? Let's see. <gasps> it's five iron nuggets. That's actually really, really helpful. Speaking of recipes, I need to catch some snowflakes as I walk around decorating. A lot of focal points on the island have been decorated, so now it's kind of about like going around and placing down just little touches here and there. I can't put anything on this stump? Oh my gosh, I was like so excited about the idea of putting something on this stump and it can't act as a table. That's so disappointing. Okay, <laughs> at least there's that. I have an extra big festive tree, so maybe that will go here next to this stump. It just feels like this path needs a little more, you know, festivity behind it. So yeah, yeah, that looks nice. I also don't think that was the right way to use the word festivity, but I'm, I'm going with it. And consumeristic is a word I found out. Anyway, I just want to change this tree real quick. Yeah, I think that looks pretty nice. The campsite visitors I've had during this entire island's existence haven't been like fantastic. So this, this is all they get. It's like the equivalent of coal in their stockings. Let's see if I can place another one right here. I cannot. That's okay, how about right here? Perfect. Got another balloon over here. It's a high chair. Oh, I was really hoping for a recipe. As I run around looking for more snowflakes to gather up, I'm realizing just how much more island there is with like prime real estate for more festive decorations. So I think it would be in my best interest to hang out on like a deserted island and just go ahead and grab all of the iron I can and some more wood and things like that. So I may go do that. I spent some time visiting some islands and we did three. I have a stack and a half now of iron nuggets. And I also have some more wood as well, just regular wood. I got everything and decimated those islands. I also was trying to catch some snowflakes along the way. I have plans for these as well. So let's get started. Part of my plan for snowflakes is not frozen trees, but I am gonna make one more frozen tree because I have a spot that I wanna put it. And one of the reasons I wanted more iron nuggets was so that I can make more illuminated items. Of course, now it looks like ornaments are gonna be my big concern. It's always something. But despite that, I do think I have enough to get us started on this next part of our decorating fiasco. You know what else is interesting? I was buying some customization kits and look what I found in store in Nooks. In case you forgot, red wrapping paper is one of the items required for our DIY gift pile that we just earned. We'll also need a wooden block toy and cardboard boxes. We can get those later. I might make a couple of these. One area that's been neglected thus far is up here by the museum. I wanted to try these ornament trees here just to try to give us like a, a welcoming museum entrance. I'm not exactly sure how close together they should be, but I'm thinking they should maybe kind of like be at the front of the fences like that maybe. I chose the pink color scheme because we have this little pink tree over here and uh, I just haven't used it a whole lot. It feels like maybe something else could go right in here. Oh, well, you know what? Actually, these little picnic blankets, if I leave those, those are pink. So yeah, that kind of works. 
honestly. It looks pretty good. And then over here, I made some more uh, illuminated snowflakes and I thought they could go between these palm trees. However, as I place it down, I'm reminded again that not everything in Animal Crossing works as intended. This is just not centering up the way I would want it to. Alternatively, I could deliberately like put it against the cliff wall and not center it, uh, you know, between the palm trees, but just have them kind of like this. This one's not really going against the wall, but trying to just kind of like maybe put these items in front of walls in just like different areas. So you walk by and it's just like a little, a little pop of festivity. I don't know if this will work, but maybe let me put it like right here, shove it into this museum area. And can I still build a fence in front of it? It doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to. It looks like it sticks out just enough to where, yeah, you cannot put a fence here. Could this replace the fence in this spot? So we just put it right there. I don't see why not. It doesn't look half bad actually. And I am trying to just get more up here in terms of, you know, these types of decorations. So yeah, maybe for this season, we remove these fences here and instead we put down the, you know, illuminated snowflakes. Having them like this is cool. Now I'm wondering, is this one in a good spot? Having it so close to this one? These are the types of little details that I tend to kind of overthink. It, I like it here personally, but I'm kind of wondering if I had anything else, I might put it here instead. I, I love how flat these are. And by that, I mean they kind of like don't take up a lot of space. You can easily walk in front of it. Uh, if I were to put like a festive tree here or something, it'd be way too big and you have to like walk around it. So I might leave it here for now, but if we find a better spot, I'll move it. For the frozen tree, I was thinking back here. This is where I would put an illuminated tree if we had that item. We do not, but we have the frozen tree, which I think is the next best thing. I made it blue, which means I'm probably going to redo this ornament here. But uh, yeah, I think kind of putting it right there and then putting the giant ornament somewhere in here. It's a pretty good look. It makes the corner kind of look nice and, and cluttered with holiday cheer. I brought the giant ornament back to being red. I think that looks pretty good. Maybe we can spin it this way, pull it this way. Hmm, how's that looking? Honestly, I don't love this layout at all, but I do think I have a good alternative plan. I think something like this looks a little bit, a little bit better. I decided to go green and red with the ornaments and then the tree in the background. That looks, I don't know, a little bit better to me. Ultimately, maybe another item here and then another item on the other side of the green ornament would look even better, but uh, for now, this is good. In fact, since we're so focused on this spot, maybe I should go ahead and like throw down one of these presents right here. And I think just having it under that tree and by the path, that kind of ties things together a little bit better. And while we're in this spot, I think another place for an illuminated present might be back here by Eric's house. We already have some stuff kind of in front of his house. But uh, I think just, again, putting a gift under a tree, I think this is like a really cool way to just add some holiday nuance to the island, right? We find trees and areas that look a bit sparse and just kind of tuck a little illuminated present under there. And I do believe that's the mode we're in right now. I think we are on like the finishing touches leg of this journey. So we have like this whole forest here. What if we threw a couple of illuminated presents in this forest, right? And just a little, in little spots around the island, we, we hide some of those. The problem is those presents cost materials. And so uh, once again, I thought I was done with this. I'm gonna have to shake a tree and just collect ornaments for a little while. I'm hoping that I have enough ornaments now. What I'm gonna do is craft a few of these gift piles, which require these wooden block toys. And we're gonna craft a few more illuminated presents. And why not? With my last six gold ornaments, I will make another illuminated reindeer. So everything's crafted and customized and I wanna try something over here. I went ahead and made this gift pile the elegant customization. And now I'm gonna maybe tuck it right behind Nooks, like there. And I just like that idea that maybe gifts are starting to pile up and the townspeople are getting upset because there's no big tree to put them under. And they're like, where are we supposed to put all these? And so Timmy and Tommy get to deal with it. So they're just kind of piling up behind nooks. I think that looks really nice. And I chose that color scheme because of these gold candles. I thought it kind of tied in really well. And then another pile of gifts I thought could go up here somewhere. I made a pink variation of these. And I thought maybe like back here, they would look good. So these ones did make it underneath a tree. And yeah, I think as you're like walking up, like from down here, just having the giant pile of presents over there, it looks, it looks pretty good. I have one more of those gift piles and they could go anywhere. I'm gonna try it right over here. And this present pile was called natural. So I thought, oh yeah, kind of putting this by the forest would look pretty good and it does. 
I actually like that a lot. I wish I had more because I could literally put those everywhere. But let's take some of the illuminated items now and put them in the forest back here. So I'm going to throw an illuminated reindeer kind of like right there, tucked behind a tree. I'm going to throw an illuminated present there. I'm going to tuck an illuminated present right back behind that tree. I think another illuminated present could go right here, opposite of this gift pile. Just kind of, you know, a little bit of light back there. And I have another illuminated present left over, so maybe we'll try it, I don't know, a little bit random but kind of over here by these stairs. In fact, like maybe like right in here. Yeah, you can still walk on the path. And it's just, again, another pop of like color and light. Oh my gosh, I finally found this balloon. It's been like following me around. I've just heard the whooshing noise forever. All right, here we go. It is just more junky clothing. Gosh, they will not give me any recipes today. Anyway, we're not quite done. The outside of my house got really, really cheated. So I'm gonna try and find a couple items for that. And then we got to decorate the main room as well. So for out here, I don't have a lot of stuff left, but I can make a couple of giant ornaments. So I'm going to put a giant ornament right there. In fact, maybe I'll put it somewhere a little more obvious, maybe kind of more in front of this tree rather than behind it. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. I love stuff like that because in the distance, it just kind of stands out and looks really nice. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these rocks because I wouldn't normally want these here anyway. And then maybe I could put the other giant ornament I have in this spot. So I have a blue one and I can maybe put that uh, somewhere over here. Yeah, maybe something like that, just to sort of tie the whole, you know, property together. In a perfect world, I'd have way more decorations out here, but I am out of materials. <laughs> Despite that, though, I have been saving up snowflakes to make a whole bunch of frozen floor tiles. Now, the, flo the frozen floor tiles are kind of the best I can do for flooring in the main room. As you know, we never got our hands on a recipe for, like, a, a festive flooring or the ice flooring. So I thought if I just gather up enough snowflakes, I can make a whole bunch of these frozen floor tiles. But as you can see, each one costs eight snowflakes. So I'm way off still with trying to get like enough of these to cover the entire floor. But I do have one last Hail Mary I could try. Other than catching even more snowflakes, which again, will probably take me all day and I'm running out of time. I can see what kind of island Catton has in store for us. If we can get lucky enough, to get an island that has maple leaves floating around, we only need to collect 10, or less than that, I think I have like two in my storage, to get ourselves the colored leaves floor. I personally believe the colored leaves floor would be the perfect addition to my room when you compare it to the uh, the jingle wall or festival wall or whatever it's called. So let's give this a try. It's a thousand miles. I'm not gonna be able to time skip to do this because we're just, we have no time left. So. Maybe, maybe just maybe Captain brings us to one of these islands. What's it gonna be? Oh, no, it's covered in snow. Do we at least get like, you know, a seasonal recipe out of it? We got a stone wall recipe. <laughs> if it was like a floor, like a wood floor, that would have at least been nice. I would have been really, really happy with that. Oh my gosh. Do you think, do you think that's the reason why we didn't get the right island? I say the right island as if, you know, we were owed the uh, the other island. I forgot to invite Brewster to the island. So I don't have the photo of Brewster on me right now. I wasn't anticipating this, uh, but will he come to the island anyway? Give me a gyroid fragment, but I already have like a lot of gyroids. Okay, so I, yeah, I have no idea if Brewster is going to join us on the island, but yeah, I have, I have the photo of him somewhere, just not on me. All right, this was a bust, let's get out of here. So I guess I could just run around and catch some snowflakes. But again, I, I'm not kidding. I don't have a lot of time left in my real human life day to sit here and like catch snowflakes. I might just have to like take what I can get. And with all those snowflakes, I managed to craft six of these frozen floor tile floor mats. If I focus them all on the center of the room, I could do something like this. And one thing that's kind of cool that I can do is I can use the water flooring underneath, which certainly looks better than the steel, but it is odd. Nothing I try is looking good at all but I'm starting to try to get a little a little creative. I don't know, it could just be desperation, but let's just try this. So this was actually an idea from someone in the comments, Amanda, and they recommended using the dark bamboo mats. So I went ahead and crafted as many as I possibly could with the bamboo that we have over in the, uh, what do you want to call it area? Bamboo area? I don't know. <laughs> and you know what? These look really nice. I hope that with a combination of, you know, the frozen floor tiles and the bamboo mats, we can make something work here. So with these bamboo mats, I will say the floor looks a lot better with this. And I can throw the frozen floor tiles kind of like in the middle like that. And it looks a bit odd, 
but nowhere near as bad as the water looked. I have two of these left over, but because of the weird uneven numbers and, and everything else, I don't know how to fit them in. Alternatively, they might look better kind of like at the bottom as you first enter the house because a lot of the decorations are going to be towards the top half anyway. So maybe this is the way to go with the floor mats. I think we can give this a shot. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this tree and kind of pop it in the middle of the room. I'm gonna take this other giant ornament and put it opposite of the giant ornament we already had. I'm gonna put the snowflakes kind of like maybe right over there. And I think this isn't half bad for our <laughs> festive room. I might get rid of the library wall in the back because I would say we are lacking quite a bit of, you know, lights and, and extravagance. So I think that helps quite a bit. And then if we kill the lights in here, I mean, this is all of a sudden really, really cool. Uh, I don't notice the bamboo floor mats as much. And I say that, you know, because it's kind of a good thing. They, they stand out quite a bit, even though they do look nicer than any other floor we have. I'm mostly watching the lights dance around. And I think having the ice at the entrance and then the floor kind of just gets dark and unpronounced is good. All of this to me looks really, really good. Speaking of killing the lights, we need to skip forward and actually see this place at night. But I did have one more illuminated snowflake DIY. So I don't know, I guess I could put that a bit random, but I would say maybe right here. And you know, it's just, it's just tucked back there. Like a lot of the things we're doing, we're just trying to give little pops of holiday cheer wherever we can, since we're just so, so low on materials and time. Oh yeah, the evening hours of Toy Day. Easily the best time to see an Animal Crossing island. Look at this. Everything's lit up now. And I gotta say, it it's looking spectacular already. Even the very, very few decorations that I was able to, you know, gather up look really, really good. Maybe let's go over here. I want to see this reindeer line we made. Yeah. Look at them all. It's so bright and vibrant. I love that. I want to see what this walk up looks like. I think the candles are really nice and inviting. And as we walk up here, we can see our precious toy robot staring down any intruders. <laughs> there it is. The rainbow snowflakes over here looking good. And oh my gosh. Yes, the these snowflakes should just be everywhere all the time. They look so good behind resident services like that. I gotta say, of course, my favorite area is probably this one in front of resident services here. Back when I had, you know, ambition and DIYs and <laughs> materials. It, but hey, I mean, we already saw this in a previous episode. It just, it still looks so good. It's definitely my favorite spot. Going up this alley over here, not as pronounced, but we do have more of these ornament trees lighting our way over on the left. And then, yes, the illuminated presence and a little festive tree right here looking good. And then I really wanted to see this at night. All of our ornament trees lined up like this. Just right here, it makes it feel like the entire island has been decorated a lot more than it actually has. I mean, you can see the big festive tree back in the, in the top corner and then all the ornament trees. It really does trick the eyes into thinking, wow, like this person really, they spent a lot of time on this and they had, they had so much effort put in, but but really, no, it's it's all born of, of desperation. I'm just giving myself a hard time. I really do like it a lot. Uh, <laughs> the illuminated presence under the trees look as good as I thought they did, or they would anyway. We pop up here, we got another illuminated present. I, I wish we had more things. And I know that a lot of you have mentioned, oh, this should be, this should be more episodes. This should be longer. And I, I do, I do wish the same. But at the end of the day, I think part of the challenge trying to like get this done with a little bit of time and not many crafting materials. It was interesting and it was a lot of fun to try and make it all come together. And I mean, it works, right? Of course, it helps that the game decorates some of the trees for me. <laughs> I do appreciate that. Let's see what the museum looks like. Yeah, the whole vibe of this area. This is all tied together really, really well thanks to the snowflakes. I think those are obviously the big standout, but even the ornament trees and stuff. And if we come over here, we have these additional snowflakes on this spot and then the forest. I was really happy that I dedicated some stuff over to this forest because having like the reindeer and the presents just kind of in there, not not super like outspoken, just kind of tucked behind things. Yeah, I think they look really good too. Down here, there was another illuminated present and then we have these presents here and just, you know, from different perspectives, this stuff makes itself known and it looks really good. As far as our goals go, well, let's see. 
Collecting every seasonal DIY? No. <laughs> nope, not even close. Fully decorating the island for the holidays. Well, I'm gonna say we did it. And I know we did light decorating, but this is one of those where I can give it to myself because if I say this is decorated for the holidays, then it is decorated for the holidays. And let's be real, this season lasts about a month and then you want your island back to uh, the way it was. So you start to pull all this stuff down and the more decorations you, you put up on your island, the longer it takes to disassemble. So I think this is the right amount of decorating to do on an island like this. And that's what I'm gonna tell myself. And of course we did manage to add a festive villager despite them not getting any presents or, you know, walking around outside on toy day. We, we did it, okay? We accomplished the goal. So was it a failure? No, I mean, not an epic one anyway. <laughs> I had a lot of fun. Uh, I do hope you did as well. I'll be updating the dream address for this island for just a little bit, and then I'm gonna take everything down and put it back to the way it was. So if you want, the dream address is on screen now, and over there is a video that I want you to watch next. It's not the next episode, because this is done now, but it's it's something, it's probably good. I, I handpicked it, let's just put it that, just watch the video.